Hi everyone, I am back. So if you're here right now live, I was just here two seconds ago and I did the tutorial on how to edit the updated 2021 through 2022 academic calendar. So we are now doing the digital planner version. So that version before was the printable version. So you could do one of two things with it. Well, you could do many things with it, but you could just sell it as is the PDF and then people can print and you know download and print it on their own at home or you could send it to a printer, or you could uh, make edits, resize it, do something else with it. Uh, and then, so today is, or not today, now this session, we're gonna talk about the digital planner version. And this is the one that you can use on GoodNotes or Notability or Paper 53 or any of those different tablet uh, applications where you can click around to the different dates. So I've already made it clickable for you if that makes sense. So they're both available. Tiago Leandro. That is a Tiago Leandro. That is an awesome name. Brazil. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, if I can see the share screen button. There it is. And same thing. I'm just going to share my whole screen. So it's going to look really uh, big or possibly really small to you because just the way it's set up. All right. So I don't know if anyone noticed, but I uploaded the planner. I updated the template shop. And when I say I updated it, I switched. I had my own shop where um, I don't know if anyone remembers. I used to just use like put my own stuff on a website. Instead, I decided to use Podia. I did that demo the other month and I was like, oh, there's a shop that you can set up. Mine looked like a disaster. <laughs> it still kind of does. But I tried to like make it prettier. Um, so this is the new shop. So in here, what I've done is there are all these different sections. And then inside, if you go to any of these different sections, then you'll see just courses, right? Or if you go into, um, oops, oh, I didn't mean to log in. Bummer. Okay. So now we're at products. So let's log out. So we don't see that. Yeah, once you log in, the whole look of this shop changes. Um, but you can scroll all the way down and you can see all the products that I have inside of here. I've been slowly trying to add pictures to everything. You can see some of them have missing pictures. Um, so everything is inside of here. And then there's some freebies at the bottom. And then I have an author freebie in there as well. So this is the new shop. Uh, but specifically, when you are logged in, let me just show you. Let me log back in now. Uh, so when you're logged in and you go to the academic planner, oh, I didn't even give myself the academic planner, so that's not going to help. Um, you can see past versions. Oh, I don't have any of the templates. Anyways, you'll see past versions in there. Great demo, right? Okay, so let's go ahead. I am going to, um, I'm going to try to open something. Nope, that's not it. I'm going to try to open the right thing. There it is, InDesign. Okay, it was already open. Um, so I don't really like the look of this, so I always do view um, over print preview. So then everything kind of go, all those little markers kind of go away. Mine is defaulted. I don't, I don't know. I didn't set this up. I think it's just because the last time I used the file, the pages panel is open. But for sure with digital planners, you're going to want the pages panel open. So you're just going to go to Window. Um, and make sure there's a check mark in front of pages. So let me first just show you how to change the cover. Because you can change the cover on all of these. So a couple different things. They're a little different for the digital planner version because uh, because one, the dimensions are different. So over here, this is the new cover. And you're going to have the cover in two spots because it's supposed to be kind of a faux planner. You're going to go all the way down here to the bottom. And you're going to have the back cover. So in theory, it's like a whole planner. So over here, so let's say I wanna change this, right? I don't like this, I want something else. So I can actually just take, select this um, and I could delete it. But before I delete it, what I wanna do is I wanna pick out a new cover. So maybe what I could do is I could pick out one of the covers from years past. So let's do that same, or let's do, we could do a different one. Which one is this? Oh, no, it's the same one. I keep opening the same one. Um, let's go. 
let's just go. I guess we'll just stick with that. You can go into any old one that you have. Go into the links folder. So this is the Adobe stock. So that's the background image. So we're going to go here. And so now it's replaced it. Again, you can see it's not stretched out correctly. So you're going to use the other tool, which I can't see because of the new workspace. I'm going to go to Essentials. Um, and I'm going to select that uh, smaller selection tool over here. And I'm just going to stretch this out so it goes all the way to the bottom. Um, this page over here, so now it's kind of like right to the edge. You can move it over a little if you want. I mean, I think it's fine once it's open on your iPad, but um, you'll notice all of the text is missing, right? So you can just add it back in. You can do one of two things. You could just copy and paste it from the older file, or you could just type it in again. Um, so in order to add that uh, matching, what did I call it? Pencil, you'll just go right back here to that older file. You'll come over here and you'll just draw your pencil in over here. And then you can write out academic planner. Academic calendar. I believe I used, let's see, type character. Where's the characters panel? I don't see. Oh, there it is. I believe I used think. Think. Yes. And I'm pretty sure it was bigger. And then you could add the dates underneath if you wanted to. So just need another text box, 2021 through 2022. Now you can see why it's sometimes just easier to copy and paste. Um, I think I use Nutraface text. And same thing, it's a little bigger. And I'm gonna change that color. So I'm gonna go over to Window, Workspace. I'm gonna go back to Typography. So I can see it at the top. So I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to go here to the type tool and I'm going to make this purple. But maybe that's too light. Do I want a darker purple? There we go. All right. All that to change the cover. So same thing if you want to go back here because now the front cover doesn't match the back cover. I would just go here. I would copy this. Um, Instead of going through that whole rigmarole, go over here, delete that, paste that co that cover right here in the back. You can see it's above the the coils, so you're just going to right click the coils and just say bring to front. So now it's in front, and then you're going to go ahead and move this over a little more because it's kind of big. You can go ahead and just shrink it. There you go, and then you can add that pencil in again too if you like that little pencil logo on the back. There you go. So now you're done. So now your front and your back match. And you can just repeat that whole process for, uh, you know, a different cover or obviously whatever cover you want. You don't have to use one of my past covers. You can use any cover. All right, so you're gonna notice it looks very similar. The only difference is this looks like a two page spread, but it is not. It is a fake two page spread. So these aren't actually two pages. This is just one really wide horizontal page that you are looking at. Um, so that is that is what's happening. Let me, because I do this all the time. Okay, so there's no questions. Everything seems okay. All right, so the only difference on this, so same thing as before, if you wanna update anything or the colors, um, go to window and make sure you go to pages have pages open and you're going to notice just like before you have master pages on the top and then you have your regular pages on the bottom now there are many many more master pages and that's because a master page for monthly cannot be the same throughout the master page for monthly for august has to be different than the master monthly page for september Otherwise, the hyperlinks won't work. So once you sell this file to somebody, you're going to sell this PDF. I've already included it. If you test it on your desktop or on Notability or GoodNotes or anywhere else, it will work exactly the same. Obviously, this isn't a pencil, it's a mouse, but if I go to home, it'll go to home. Here, it will go to February, it'll go to May, it'll go to June, and back up here, I can go to the annual, 
and then I can go to home again. So that's what's what's making all of that like magic behind the scenes work is the fact that you have all of these master pages. So you can make changes to your master pages, but if you do not understand how to do hyperlinks and you have not taken my digital planner course and you don't understand how to relink them, be very, very careful on the changes you make into this uh, these master pages because all of these tabs that you see here are hyperlinked. So if you change something or delete something, you could break the hyperlink. So how can you make changes without breaking the hyperlink? Basically, all these text boxes are hyperlinked. So instead of deleting the box and replacing it with something else, you would simply edit the text. So instead of saying school, it would just say class. Um, over here, instead of saying annual, it will say yearly. And instead of saying home at the here, it will say cover, right? So a couple things to keep in mind is you can make those changes let me try to put it all in caps so it all matches. You can make those changes, but because there are multiple versions of this master page, you can't just make this change once and have it go through the whole document. Right now, it will only be applied to 5M, which is December monthly. So if we scroll down here, you'll see that 5M has been applied here to December. So now we can see it says class yearly cover. However, as soon as I go to the next page, it goes right back to school annual home. And the reason it does that is because this one is pulling from 5W. So over here on 5W, you can see it still says school annual home. So what you'll have to do is you will now have to change those again to say class, yearly, and then cover without the word home. So. My suggestion would be if you want to change the tab names, which you can, you can change anything on this document, but because they're hyperlinked, whatever you decide to change is one tab, just go through each single one and just keep going uh, class, yearly, cover. Go to the next one, change this to the text to class, yearly, cover, et cetera, and so on. So that then when you go into this document to make edits, they're all there for you. So same thing with these. If you change the color on Sunday, um, you're going to have to change that then on each and every single master page as you go. I hope that makes sense. All right. So if you have any questions or that seems confusing, let me know. Um, but let's move on. So how do you add pages? So like I said, you could maybe add some pages where you want to be um, you know, teacher pages, right, or something else. So you'll notice up here, if you want to add something like, let's say I just want to add a picture. I don't know why. I just want to add a picture. So I could choose this as my new page. I could go over here. And let's say before I even start this or afterwards, I'm going to say insert page right after A.2. That's right here. And the master page is instead of a home, I'm going to make the master page the background. And I'm going to say, OK. So over here, now this page looks just like this one, background. So there's no hyperlinks on it, but maybe that's OK. I just want to put a picture that says, welcome to the school year, or I put a quote, or I don't know, something else that I want to do with this page, or a reorder page at the end, uh, and it doesn't really need links. So just keep that in mind if you use one of these other pages. This page that says none is just a blank page, so keep that in mind, too, if you want to use that. Oh, someone's calling me. <laughs> Um, all right, so over here, this is in case you ever want to add any pages to anything, um, all you have to do is go down here to the bottom or to anywhere you want to add the pages and just say, just right click on it and say insert pages. You can move pages, you can duplicate pages, um, you can delete pages. Uh, you can apply different masters to different pages. Um, if you want to make something, you want to extend November, like let's say, what's something that you could do? Let's say for every month you want to add a sheet on goals or something. So you'd go to the very last page in the second section and you'd go to insert page. Say you just need one page. It's going to be right after 11.5. You still want it to look like the weekly. Um, and then you can go over here to this page and you can change it. So what you could do is you could just kind of delete everything that's in here whoops, by going to right click and say override all master page items.
So if you override all master page items, then you can start deleting stuff out that you don't want. So let me try to select a bunch of stuff. Whoops. <laughs> That's the problem with overriding master page items. There's a lot of stuff hidden there in the back. So you could start deleting stuff and just changing things around however you want. I deleted that other thing again. Okay. Clearly, I'm not good at editing notes on pages on the fly, but you could go over here. So there are some notes pages for you at the very end. Um, you could take these pages and add them over to the top. So you could do that as well. Also, I don't know why this is giving you a double. Maybe it's just my view. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, let me know if your version does that on the digital planner, because that seems really weird. All right. That's pretty much it for digital planners. Now, once you're done making all of your changes, in order to keep all of those hyperlinks intact, you're going to go to File, Export. You're not going to, you can still save your file, but to File, Export. And you're going to make sure over here for Format that you choose Adobe PDF Interactive and then just hit the Save button. As long as you say Adobe PDF Interactive, it will keep all of those hyperlinks for, for you. If you choose Adobe PDF Print, there will be no hyperlinks at all. It will just be sort of a lifeless PDF, like a flat file. Just like it says, it's meant to be printed, not to be interacted with. So remember, if you have a digital planner, you always want to pick Adobe PDF Interactive. So that's kind of it. Um, let's see. Do I have any questions? Um... Tammy, your new shop is gorgeous. Oh, great. Love the new pictures too. Uh, darling, new shop looks really nice. Thanks. Chrissy, I just downloaded GoodNotes. Haven't figured out how to use it <laughs> with an imported file. Yeah, so I have another tutorial on my website, how to, I think it's how to use your iPad as a digital planner um, that teaches you how to save your file because it is very confusing. Like when I first bought a digital planner, I'm like, okay, great. Now what? <laughs> Basically, you just take that file, you save it to Google Drive or to Dropbox or something else. And then within the iPad, you open up GoodNotes. And then from within inside GoodNotes, then you go into Google Drive. It's very counterintuitive. It's not like your computer where you just double click a file and it just automatically opens, um, or at least it hasn't been in the past. So you kind of have to go the long route, I guess, to get to it. Vivian, hello, I would like to learn to create a calendar. Is this the video or do I watch another of your videos? So to create a calendar, there is a video on my channel called How to Create Planner Pages. I believe that's the name of it, just how to create planner pages. And that'll show you how to do a weekly layout. Um, this today is just teaching you how to edit the digital planner or the academic calendar. All right, let me know if that file does anything weird for you when you guys open it, like it minded. I don't know, maybe it's just... The version I have or an old imprint, I will fix it in two seconds. Um, and I hope everyone's having a great day. And I will see you guys next week. No, that's not true. I'll see you tomorrow. There's a video tomorrow I uploaded. I'm super excited. It was a random Etsy planner that I picked. So that will show up tomorrow on the video. All right. Bye, everyone.